truck rescue. This is a pretty handy method for hauling some of my trucks over there. It's a tow bar I've had forever. And uh, it's set up just right to where if a truck doesn't have a front bumper on it, you can use it to pull the truck and the truck will steer itself. So I can use that on the trucks that don't have front bumpers. The ones that do have front bumpers, I can use my new sling behind Homer on. Uh, but just trying to get them out there any way I can. And today, I'm gonna load this guy. This is Puffin. I'm gonna load him up on the back of Homer and Marge. And uh, what's cool about this truck, well, it's, it's a cool truck, but what's really cool about it is Jamie went out and rescued it by herself. She found it, saw it, fell in love with it, and went and got it. I didn't even go with her. She took a truck and trailer and came back and she calls it Puffin. She wants to put a big diesel engine in it. Can you see her putting around the property in that thing? I can. Anyway, we'll get that loaded up. Well, Jamie's off uh, hauling gravel out to the property and uh, trying her hand at dumping it, so it might be kind of a surprise to see what happens out there. But the main thing is she's getting gravel on the property. We need it on the roads. It's been raining real bad. We need out today. That's why you guys are in the bucket camp right now. But uh, I'm going to get Puffin loaded up for her so he can head out there. And then I got another one with the tow bar hooked up, but I'm going to get it loaded.
normally I wouldn't answer my phone right in the middle of something like this, but when Jamie's gone in the bullfrog, the nasty weather, getting loads of gravel, I gotta answer my phone. <laughs> all loaded up I'll get that strap down uh, and that was Jamie she uh, just said everything was going good she's really gotten the hang of that dump truck she said she got two loads in already and she's going back for a third I better get over there and spread some of that gravel but it's good to have old puffin loaded up and that really you guys can come out of the bucket now it's not raining right at the moment uh, but that clears up a lot of space with puffin gone and the moving van out of there uh, there's Someone was saying something about I should get a tanker truck. I've got one. <laughs> it ain't much. We call that the love boat. Uh, long story behind that. That's in some other videos. I already covered that ground. But it is ugly. It are ugly. And it's cross-eyed. The love boat. Okay. I'll get this strapped down. <laughs> That's quite the, uh, quite the setup. Yeah. Classic truck rescue. Yeah, so I got this old boy out here now. Works pretty good, actually. I'm having one of those moments. Uh, I was hoping to come out here and see a whole bunch of piles of gravel like that. All up and down here. You know? Because uh, that's what I asked Jamie to do just just put gravel on the layman you know and uh, so uh, she met me at the gate and told me that I was gonna be mad at her which is never good because I try not to get mad I really do and uh, this is like I don't understand this because this is where I told her to go, right here, where she couldn't get in trouble. But instead, not only did she go here, which, you know, no big deal, but uh, that's a big deal. I can tell her again, do not drive off the gravel. Maybe, maybe she'll listen this time. Uh, and, uh, uh, but anyways, this is why it's a good thing that I have come to know the Lord because I'm not happy. I'm kind of angry right now, but I'm, I'm not going to be mean to Jamie. She was trying to help us today and do a good thing. So, and I hope it comes out of there because it is not done raining. And, uh, man, it's not done raining. And as you can see, the bullfrog's getting ready to be part of the lake. It's Boy, it is deep in this side. Uh, so, I guess I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pray. That's what I do when this stuff happens, and then, and I hope she did. There's no reason for us to be out there. That's what I said the other day. We're gonna quit driving on the pasture because it's soft, it's leaving marks, and we don't need to work out there right now because we're working on the roads and in the parking lot. So, uh, thanks for letting me vent, by the way. I really did ask Jamie to go to the store and get me something. I could tell she felt bad. She does feel bad. She was trying to do good today, so. Uh, best thing to do is go pray, get that unstuck, and uh, uh, move forward. One of the first 
matter of fact, it may have been the first, but I know one of the first Bible verses that I memorized was, it's either Psalm 141.3 or 143.1. I think it's 141.3, but it says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. <laughs> he needs to keep that door shut right now. I'm telling you, I did say a little bird. But I don't like that. You see, this is filling up with water over here. And uh, that's where my dump truck is. And that's the last place on the property I'd I think I'd want to see it other than the end of the river or the creek. Those might be a little worse. Uh, I, I, I went and grabbed a shovel. I'm gonna try just shoveling a bunch of rock in there. I don't have a chain out here. Maybe I do. I don't think I have a chain out here to hook pumpkin onto the front of him, but I think I need to probably dump what's on there. Well, maybe not. No, I probably better leave what's on. Gee. I'll figure it out, and I'll be back. i got to do something about this. But anyways, uh, I know Jamie feels bad. I'm not going to be mean to her. I'm glad I asked her to go get me some. <laughs> that was a good idea. Uh, I don't always remember all the Bible verses that I memorized, but uh, they come to me. And one of them says... Uh, I written on my heart that I might not sin against thee and it keeps me out of trouble it does so uh, done preaching gonna work on getting my dump truck unstuck and I sure hope I can uh, but uh, if not there's a tree right there Homer's got a load on him because I just got done loading puffing on him and uh, we'll do what we have to do to make sure that doesn't fall on my dump truck if it rains some more which it's supposed to Matter of fact, it's supposed to rain for days. That's why I was hoping to be out here making the roads better. Making the roads better. And see, there's that Bible verse kicking in again. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. Well, I shoveled some gravel in front of all four rear tires, but I don't think he's gonna go for it. I think Jamie's problem was that she was trying to go forward uphill, and I don't know why she dumped this here but uh, that kept her from going backwards and back up so I thought I'd just go grab pumpkin and maybe uh, grab, use the scraper and maybe use the scraper blade to scrape this gravel behind the dump truck up back up here and I don't want gravel here I guess I mean you know that's one of the spots I, I if you look around the property you can see the low spots and you know where you don't want roads um, you know but anyway aside from all that I'm gonna get pumpkin fired up oh I did bring some gas for him good because he's almost out and uh, get him gassed up check his fluids and uh, get my scraper blade into that pile and drag all that up here still out here working on that stick and bully uh, got some nasty weather coming in and that water's almost up to his rear tire right now. I spread some gravel behind him. Got a new friend over there. His name's TJ. Uh, my neighbor Randy came over to give me a hand but I had a whole lot of gravel I had to spread to, just so we could move around. But I actually built a road up to the back of the old bullfrog and uh, we're going to see what we can do.
dump truck out. Bullfrog was stuck, and he was stuck. And uh, we're supposed to have a lot more rain tonight. I don't think it's going to take too long. That water right there. Can't see it. There's a lot. Anyway, TJ, thank you. Not a problem. My neighbor Randy sent me a new friend, TJ. Good man with a come along. <laughs> thank Not you. No problem. So, we just got puffing hauled over here on the back of Homer. And, uh, I don't want to sell it. It's that. a good thing. I worked overtime last night, huh, honey? Because <laughs> that's. That's where the dump truck was last night. <laughs> I'm gonna keep puffing. I need him to be our amphibious rig. I was telling uh, some of my I was telling my viewers about that. I told them how you went and rescued that truck all by yourself, brought it home on a trailer, and named it Puffin. And I said, uh, "Can you see? Can you just picture Jamie driving that out on the property?" And I said, "I can." <laughs> It would, that little dump bed you got would look perfect on the back of him. It would, I think, yeah. He looks like a little tugboat. Anyway, oh, we aren't you glad we got the bullfrog out of there? Because, trust me, it would have been there for the winter if we wouldn't have. Oh, my what, this God. We've got to be real careful of, uh, out here. To so where does it go? up our roads. And it goes that way. Yeah, I told you. I think it ties in with that low spot in our parking oh lot. Oh, my gosh. That all the trucks over here and organize them all nice and pretty and line them up uh, as we brought them over but with the whole area flooding around here and us still being on a deadline needing to get moved I'm gonna be doing stuff like this where I just get a truck over here any way I can and unload it where I can and uh, we're not worried about anything happening to Pup and he's gonna roll back into those bushes but I'm a, if we keep getting rain I'm expecting this to be one of the low spots, so I'm going to put trucks that sit higher right there. You need, you need to have your fire truck with you right now. You totally look like a ranching oh, fire. Oh, my Homer hammer. How'd you find out about that? You told me about it, mm -hmm. and you said I'd love it, and I do. This is big and manly. HF, I'm using my tripod to video this. Puffin' stuff. That's what is all huffing, all puffing, all mow your briars down. That's a good spot for him for right now. So when can I go take Bully? Pretty soon. Okay. Macaroni just since we've been here, which has only been maybe an hour and a half. This thing has grown already. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's gonna go right through here to the root apple. I'm 
standing in it. This was all dry. That right there is probably about three feet. I figured we might as well get it out of here while we can. Right? This has grown just since we've been here today. <laughs> well, today, Jamie's going to be hauling gravel back and forth just up to here. And we're going to make sure that we have one good route in and out of here with a turnaround back there and just beef it up, put underlayment behind it, and keep dumping rock on it. So at least we know for sure we can get our trucks back there, get turned around, and get back out, right? Yes, you know, when I go home and get my jacket, I know exactly where these are, but they're those really cheap uh, little tent spikes. They're yeah. just nothing more than a heavy gauge piece of wire. That, but that I have a lot of those in yeah. those drawers. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, good idea. That'll help. Well, you don't want to stop when you get one of those big boys going. Let me get up. Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I can't stop on this stuff right now. I know, so I'm, I'm not going to take three hours. I'm going to go home, just grab my jacket and my gloves and come back and then go get bullied. But I can, want me to help lay some of that down? You know what I can do? What? I can bring Bullfrog up here and dump that load right here. And then uh, we'll have this in secured and I can be smoothing that out. Okay, so my first two loads, you want that big stuff? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to put that in that low spot down there where we're getting ready to have our own pond. That's kind of cool. A river, a stream, and a pond. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. But what was really cool was the deer. Yeah. And, and uh, the camera went dead, but those deer stood there for a long time just looking at us, and we just spoke to them calmly, and they're absolutely welcome here, and they'll never be on the dinner table. They were so elegant looking the way yeah. they hopped so around. Beautiful. Okay, uh... Prius owners, beware right. of that! What? Like I said, we're oh. just gonna get our all the trucks moved out here and not worry about having them lined up and organized like I do like to keep them. But, uh, that blue truck is sitting where we really need to be driving because the ground slopes down from there. So we're gonna move it up a little, put it next to the 38 Chevy, and then, uh, get the bullfrog dump truck over there, dump the rest of his gravel on the layman, and then Jamie's going to be hooking and booking to the rock quarry, which he does well, and uh, I'll be rolling out layman and staking it down and spreading the gravel in as she brings it. All our trucks need to be painted green and lined up next to each other. They'd look like your fleet. We well, you got to have some yellow ones. They got to match the leaves, honey. Oh, <laughs> maybe a blue one. One black one. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Let's go on back to the river and show them what our uh, creek and river look like in flood conditions. Okay. Are we going to take that on our safari? after all. Maybe he wanted to go in the pond. Yeah.
after you clean his stifle to look like that, then you can do jet stifle to look like that. That's why I don't have a horse. You do, you got him. That worked out pretty good, huh? Yes. And he's empty. Yesterday I was hammering and the head flew off the hammer. Yeah. So I started hammering him this way. With, so it pounded. I've had that fall off on me too. Someday, <laughs> when he's done working for a while, we'll go through this stuff truck and fix it. Oh, and Bully, you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, I'm so glad my dump truck's not still sitting right over there. Hey, let me give you guys the light. <laughs> that right there is where my dump truck was sitting last night. Right where you see that mud. And uh, I'm sure glad it's not sitting there today. Because we'd have a bigger mess than we do. But Jamie and I are going to go to work. Bullfrog dump trucks out of danger and ready to go back to the rock quarry. We're just going to build as we go. And uh, Jamie's going to have a go at getting her truck out from the danger zone right now. We're going to build all this up before we bring anything else in here. I think that's a good idea. Because the rain is not letting up. Piece of cake. It's a little rough towards the top there. She got it though. All right, we're going to go home, get some dry clothes on, have a spot of lunch, and uh, get back to work. I'm kind of getting different shots of the stream at different water levels, just so we know okay. where to stay away from what, yeah. Log, log, log. We've got a, a lot of firewood <laughs> for the winter, if it'll ever dry out. It started pouring again, but we got the trucks out that needed to be out, and unloaded what we needed to unload and uh so jimmy's gonna go get gravel and we're just gonna stay on the spots where we know we don't have trouble and it's not a good i walk. saw that hey, do you want to walk down there real quick or not to the river we're already do you wet. yeah let's go we're going down to the river camera lens might get some water on it but trust me we got tons of water on us and it's kind of cool under the trees so you just get big fat drops instead of a million little drops. Oh, a tree fell right there. Where? Right in front of us. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, we're not going to put anything that contains a bed in it anywhere <laughs> near where a big tree can fall. That's going to be our philosophy. Like this, or they've lowered, even like those little trees. Like yeah, we got tons light. of firewood. <laughs> oh, here's my thinking bench. Remember the bench tree I was telling you? Yeah. Look. Jamie found a little spot she likes again. She found a bunch of them, but she's been telling me about this. Well, I found it when I had the latrine really <laughs> Well, that'd make it a latrine, honey. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. Wow, you need to get in here and clear that out and you could, you know what, you could put a little piece of barn wood on there and make yourself a bench. That's, that's pretty neat. Look, and and you, a beer, the uh, stream is actually nice right over here. <laughs> uh, this would be a good spot for a little bench because the stream's right over Look here. Look at that big tree that rolled down. Yeah. Holy moly. Still looking good as far as the river and the stream. There's more water flow. Did you think Thank you, Lord, because we have been praying about it. We know we took some risks when we bought this property, but so far, you know, they're comparing this to a hundred year flood that we had in 96. So that's 200 year floods. Maybe we'll get lucky. Jamie just finds all these little spots and loves them. I found some pretty cool spots too.
<laughs> oh, the little stream. The, this is another stream, and we just noticed yesterday, that's why we keep traipsing around out here in this weather, because it's teaching us about our property, and it is our property now. Uh, but this is the die cup here that the U.S. Army Corps Engineers put in after ni the 96 flood, and it's doing a good job, but we didn't know that they put culverts under it for other streams. See, that hooks up with one of our streams over there. But yeah, so here's the dike. Here's that little stream. And then it's actually kind of high up here. Oh, yeah. And we did find out we have a water right that came with the property. And it's one of the oldest water rights on our big stream, that stream over there. So that's cool. Anyway, where was that spot where we found the culvert that went under? Right here. Oh yeah, so the culvert comes in at an angle and uh, then down there is where it comes out on the other side of the dike and that leads to one of our neighbors' this property. Our property line but, is like right yeah, we're still on here. our property. <laughs> and then this is the spot where Jamie and I always come down here. This is where Bigfoot was walking out one day when we saw him. Whoa. I'll splice that in there. Whoa. <laughs> he looked like a pretty cool dude. Rapids. Well, we know there's a little dam right there. There was. <laughs> whenever, uh, honey, I've grown up in Oregon, right? And whenever rivers and streams flood like this, they're always a little different. But Jamie's always out here tracking. <laughs> Yeah, because there's a cougar out here. Yeah, one of our neighbors told us there is. Holy cow, look at that. That's the highest I've ever seen it. This is actually, this is our little stream. Yesterday, we were Our walking little stream. Out. Yeah, we usually stand right out here and walk across some rocks to go get out over there. Is it over there? You know what? Yeah. God is doing no, right all there. this for us, making it fresh. There it is. That's where we climb out and go up the hill. But we ain't going across that today. See, we cut a tree over there. Oh no, it's not. But anyway, our stream's joining up with the Malala River right there, and it usually joins up a lot further down. And we were walking across that in summer, and I'll show what it looks like in summer. I'll spice a little piece in there. Isn't that cool? I was walking. I was walking right here yesterday. Yeah. Well, we need to say some prayers about this, Eddie, <laughs> because that's a lot of water. Anyway, this is where we saw Bigfoot walking, and I'll splice in it. We, we did see Bigfoot, uh, the Malala Bigfoot, friendly guy. Doesn't scare people. You decide. Yeah, you decide. gonna make this quick uh, as you can see this is the fullest we've ever seen this river and this is the dike uh, the exposed part of the dike that the US Army Corps of Engineers made because all and it, there's another level to it right there and it goes well into our property but we're actually on the northwest corner of our property actually the northwest corner of our property is right over there uh, I think we got about five acres over there and that's an island and uh, I'll splice in some footage of what this area looks like in the summer and what's cool is well I don't know how cool it is but we had a drought a severe drought this summer um, so Jamie and I were able to walk right over there and Annabella even walked over to the other side uh, she just had to hop some little puddles and we had more water in our stream which branches off to the right bushes on the right uh, that our stream dumps in right there and then Jamie got baptized way down there at that bend that was that little pond that we were in um, but it's good for us to see the property and, and and all the water and the pastures with flood conditions on them because we've already learned things that we need to do different with our 
roads. Uh, we're getting a good idea on where our home should go. And uh, we are gonna put our, our home up. It's gonna be a tree fort, uh, but it's not gonna be supported solely by trees. It's gonna be pretty cool. You excited about that? Thanks and appreciation to the Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah, shout out to the Army Corps of Engineers. Good job. Thank you for improving our property that nobody owned then and that nobody owned before. Well, nobody did anything on it. This is one of the last large pieces of land out here that hasn't had people build homes on it. And, uh, You better not. But I wonder if I have enough skill to survive. Uh, you don't want to test that theory. Oh, I know, but I just need to shape myself like this. Yeah, don't go in there. You'll die. I've lived on rivers in Oregon before, the and uh, the they're dangerous. Yep. There's rapids where you got baptized. That way down there where the river bends is a cool little spot to go in the summer and that's where I baptized Dean because she asked me to. Anyway, we call that Eastern Oregon over there. It just, the, the wood's different over there, the ground's different. Um, but every time we come out here under drought or flood conditions, it just teaches us something, huh honey? There's a cave right there. Well, why don't you crawl on in there? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off before it completely drowns, but uh, if it keeps raining and the water keeps rising, I'll be out here to get some more footage of it. Um, I love it when she does this stuff. Side. Thank Olivia you for that. Thank you, honey. We appreciate that. Classic truck rescue. Uh, wet and soggy. Peace out.